Now, an aid on your side investigation. Infestation, frustration. A pregnant woman's apartment crawling with critters. And no matter how many calls she makes, she just can't seem to find a solution to this rat problem. And she's really stuck here between a rock and a hard place, if you will. Yeah, she wants to leave, but she still has a lease. That's mm -hmm. a problem. And her landlord is, well, tough to track down. Eight on your side investigator, Shanna Banker went out to check out the mess and... Man, nobody should have to live like that. Nobody should, and I can't even imagine living like this for one night sleeping here. This woman pays her rent on time, and she just wants a safe home for her family. This is what they did. You won't believe how much Alation's Lee pays for this apartment. $650 a month, and the walls are full of rats. Like I said, at nighttime, you can hear the rats in the walls scratching. The single mom has a baby on the way and a four-year-old son. But her landlord at Beachwood Apartments on 21st Street in Tampa won't let her out of her lease. Because it's a hole right here where they come out of. Maintenance solution? Put rocks on the hole and hope that keeps the nasty pests out. Oh, and drop rat poison inside. But guess what that causes? The rats are still coming out. You're killing them, but now when you kill them, the smell is coming through the vents because we have to let them die inside the walls. And it's not just rats. A leak led maintenance to open the ceiling and remove mounds of mold. And guess what fell out? Rats. After a visit from county code enforcement last month, a pest company stopped up the rat holes with foam. Let's just pretend they can't eat right through that. When they do, there's these sanitary traps. And that's where they put the rat trap, and this little box is supposed to be for the rats to get caught away. Lee has come home to find the rats chowing away on her countertops. Because I didn't know rats can jump from the floor to the counter that high. Fed up with living like this, she turned to Aid on Your Side for answers. We found the complex is owned by a Canadian company with a local property manager. So I gave her a call. So what are you going to do to get rid of the rats and the rats that are dead in the walls? The manager assures me the rats will be gone soon. As for Lee, as soon as she saves the money, she will be gone too. She never had a problem with my rent. I've been on time, this is, and I've been letting her know that this problem is here. After calls from eight on your side, Hillsborough County Code Enforcement promises action. A code manager tells us the property, the property owner has been unresponsive, so now they plan to bring the issue before the Code Enforcement Board later this month, and if the complex still doesn't do anything, they could shut them down. Okay, so I know they're trying to hold her to her lease, but what happens if she just leaves? I asked her that because I would just leave. It the is smells it, bad enough, right? It is right? so bad. But she has spoken to an attorney who says if she does just leave, they could evict her for abandonment. She's young, she has good credit, and she doesn't want that on her credit. No. So she wants to work something out, and we're hoping they'll do the right thing and just let her go. Oh, well, let's hope it does Maybe work Maybe after out. this attention, that will happen. Thank we you, Shannon. So. Mm -hmm.